In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can keep image and text side by side using HTML and CSS. So for it, let's go back to our port. And here you can see we have an image and we have some text here. So first of all, what we're going to do is that we're going to keep this image and this P tag inside a div. So let me say here div opening and this div will end over here. So we'll give the div closing over here. So after that, we're going to give a name uh, for this div. Let me say here class. The, let's say the class name will be div underscore design. Let's say DEG. After that, what we're going to do is that we'll go inside the head section and inside the head section, we're going to write some CSS for this. So let me just copy this and inside the head, I'm going to say here style. Then in this style, we're going to mention this div underscore DEG class. So let me give a dot, then div underscore teg to second bracket. So here, what we are going to do is that first of all, we are going to mention the width for that div. Let's the width for that div will be 70% of the total skin. Let me just save it. And if we now just refresh here, it will look like this. There you can see it took the 70% of the total skin width. So let's just make it in the center. So here we are going to say margin, it will be auto save it then refresh and there you can see it is now in the center so let's do one thing that is let's have this image on the right side and the text on the left side for it what you need to do is that for this image we are going to mention a class let's say the class name will be my underscore img so right now we are going to write some css for this so let me say here dot my underscore img then to second bracket and what we're going to do is that we want the image to be on the right side and the text to be on the left side. So we are going to say here float for the image it will be right. If we now just save this then refresh here there you can see the image is on the right side and the text is on the left side. The thing is we said the image float is right it means the image will be on the right side and whatever is uh, inside this div will go on the left side. So for this p tag, we can also write some CSS. For example, let me just directly say here or mention the p tag. Then to second bracket, we can say here padding. It will be 10 pixel. Then we can also say here margin. It will be 10 pa. Then font size, we can say uh, 14 pixel. If we save it. Then refresh here, it will look like this, okay. Uh, let's say padding will be 20 px, margin 20 and font size 20 pixel. And let's also add a background color for the DF. Let's say here, background color, it will be, let's say gray. And let's say here border, radius, it will be 20 pixel. If we now save it, then refresh here, it will look like this. So right now there again, the image size is too big. So what we are going to do is that uh, for the my image, we are going to say here height, it will be let's say 400 pixel. And for the div, we are going to say here height, it will be 400 pixel. Save it, then refresh. And there you can see it will look like this. So this is how you can keep emails and text side by side in HTML. I hope this was easy for you. If you have any question, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.